In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Dear friends, Christians, all true Christians, agree on the divinity of Christ. It is so clear in the New Testament, not only by the words of the Lord, but also by his deeds, as he said, if you do not believe in me, believe in the works I do. Well, as a matter of fact, uh, we quote Colossians 2, 9, in Christ dwells all the fullness of the divinity physically or in a bodily way. Pan to pliroma tis theotitos somaticos. Well, let us take now from a syntactical or grammatical viewpoint the second letter to the Thessalonians, chapter 2, verses 16 to 17. Our Lord Jesus Christ Himself and God our Father. So the first thing we notice is that the name of Christ has preceded that of God. We find the same in the second Corinthians chapter 13, verse 13. By the way, this verse uh, is uh, is always used by the priest or the bishop in all the uh, oriental and western rites. Icharis tu kiriu imon tu kiriu Yesu Christu ke yava pitu theu ke kinonia tu agi upnevmatos meta pandon imon. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ or of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. By the way, let me notice that in the manipulated translation uh, called the New World, that of the Jehovah's Witnesses, you don't find the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, although it's a genitive in Greek, kinonia to agiu pneumatos, but they would put fellowship in the Holy Spirit. And then Holy Spirit, they have chosen uh, to put it small h and small s, whereas Father and Son are big f and big s. Well, uh, of course, we, we know why they manipulate like this. Well, so here, the second thing is the rest, namely verse 17. May our Lord Jesus, and God the Father, our Father, may He console your hearts. Not may they console your hearts. It's the optative, optative, or aorist singular. Parakalese, or as Erasmus would pronounce it, parakalesai, instead of para. Which would have been the plural. Que sterixe o sterixai. Sterix, yeah, sterixai. It would have been sterixai yen. May they keep you, may they console you, but as a matter of fact, both verbs in the optative are in the singular, which means that. As Jesus said, the Father and I, I and the Father are one, I and the Father are one, and no, there is no doubt about it, God and His Word are one. 